Hello my soccer universe. I am so happy to tell you that now with this order I can say for sure classic football shirts are fully back on the menu. They are an option again. And I have to say it this way because one of my pop most popular videos, not the most popular one, is uh, where I say it was about a year and a half ago when I said, is this my last order from classic football shirts? Is when I ordered, you know, Brexit just hit and I, they were not prepared and, you know, suddenly I had to pay uh, customs uh, fees and, you know, delivery, blah, 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 all that kind of crap, uh, which really put a damper on me because I, they're not my first and foremost uh, source, but sometimes I really like to order from classic football shirts, especially when I have the 20% sale which is what this is about, because they had uh, recently a 20% sale. I want to say this was at the end of April or something like that. Uh, so yeah, it was absolutely, um, they had a few shirts that I was looking into and sometimes they have, they are the best source. Now, uh, before I open it, I ordered two shirts. This time I did not make the 100 euros uh, or 100 pounds for free shipping. This time I, I just got two shirts, although of course, uh, whenever you go shop, you pick, 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 and then suddenly you are worth 300 pounds uh, of shirts in the cart and then the elimination process starts. Um, and I know that the absolute limit is 150 uh, pounds, uh, 150 euros that I can put in. So you have to, with the conversion rate, which is also not great at the moment, I think it was almost 1.2. So there is basically when I get a 20% off, this offsets the conversion rate for, uh, for pounds. Uh, but what they do now, and now it's a, it's a little bit math, is that I have ordered before, um, I think I ordered an Espanol shirt, where I realized, okay, now I can really guess the shipping, uh, the, the cost that will be when the parcel arrives, uh, which was basically 5 euros, since it comes for the mail, don't go for the DHL stuff, uh, plus then 20% of the value of the parcel, including the shipping. So I always could kind of measure that one. Then um, earlier this year, I ordered from Classic Football Shirts and I was fully prepared. Uh, you know, it was also 20% off sale. And you know, I said, okay, 20% uh, off, the conversion rate was still kind of okay. If I order a few, I will pay at least the price because if they slap the 20% off, I, I get a little bit cheaper. And then this parcel arrives and I didn't have to pay anything. And I remember I, I even calculated it should be around 30 pounds I have to pay so they have to, have to pay nothing. Didn't really understand why at that point. However, now I know it and they say it in the cart. They collect the duties. So whenever you buy now from the European Union uh, from the European Union for classic football shirts, what they do is if you add the jerseys to your cart, they take off the 20% of the British tax. I computed it, should be, it, 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 is, it is 20% there. Then you take off the additional 20% that they had, and then I add twice 20%. Uh, then then I thought I, I have to add twice 20%, which I didn't have to. I had to add, to add shipping costs, and I had to add uh, 20 percent in conversion rate. And that was that. Now that they um, and this is not something that uh, should be seen as something that uh, every car company should do. They do collect the taxes beforehand for the particular country. So if they make a sale, they don't have to play the British, ta they don't play uh, the tax to the UK. No, they then pay the tax to the, uh, to the, Euro, to the EU uh, tax office, uh, Austria in this case, uh, ahead of time, so that when it arrives with you, you don't have to pay anything extra. And that makes it very, very worthwhile because now it's only the cost of shipping. And of course the conversion rate between pounds and euro that at the moment is not very favorable, as I said, uh, that makes a difference. And with that, classic football shirts are back on the menu. As I said, I ordered two shirts. I've been talking now a whole lot of time, but uh, to me it was important to uh, mention this. 
uh, because I'm so happy that they are an option again and that uh, even when they don't have a 20, 20 code, I don't need to uh, worry too much about it. As I said, there are two shirts in there, one a little bit more special one I uh, keep because uh, this is my Father's Day present and I will uh, quickly give this to my wife. Um, the other one is a jersey that I've been looking for for a long time. It's one of my top 10 jerseys from uh, the last, from uh, released in 2021. And uh, what's even more fun is that I could have ordered it from the club store for a very similar price. However, the 20% off were the kicker. And uh, you know Matt, uh, who I selected a... Um, Mystery shirt for he actually made me aware of that this particular club is selling jerseys for dirt cheap already because he knew that I like this jersey uh, And I'm so I, I was almost about to buy it from them And then I saw it, I knew it, the classic football shirts have have had as well And I think it was within a week or so that he told so, so, so that they're selling it cheap That I saw it 20 classic football shirt 20% okay. I'm gonna order it now I'm gonna show it to you. It's a Premier League team, a Premier League team that I do not have yet, which is always an exciting thing. And it's Hummel. Can venture a guess. Before that, let's see what I got here. Of course, the uh, obligatory cards. We have here uh, Football Beyond Borders Times Classic Football Shirts. I have to check this for us. And then I got two cards here. The first one is Paolo Di Canio from West Ham. And the second card, and that's probably more interesting, is Clarence Sato from Ajax. I saw him playing this jersey in the Champions League final. So, let's get the jersey out. Uh, it's actually quite cool. It's, it's really original packaging. Uh, it's, of course, Southampton. And here is a little card uh, about the Southampton DNA. Uh, I have to read this because I have to say this is a wonderful, wonderful jersey. I know Southampton is not doing great this, uh, has not been doing all that great this season. Uh, but that jersey is an absolute classic uh, to me already. I ordered it in double XL because I know Hummels are running a little bit tight uh, these uh, days. And here's the jersey, it's the current home jersey. I have to say all three of them look really, really, really nice. But I wanted to have a home jersey with the red and white stripes and you know with the arrows going up and down uh, so we have the down arrows here and then there's some up arrows in uh, the red it's something really really special that I especially love uh, it looks a tad weird and Hummel for once there's no safety pin <laughs> it's just like that uh, but I actually really like the um, fold over on the, on the front even though this is a little bit um, more uh, thicker here, but I really really love uh, this look. Hummel has done a good good job here uh, Of course the sponsor it doesn't look bad, but it's of course not a pretty sponsor uh, The crest nicely done the Hummel logo as well, and of course you have uh, this is probably in reference to um, St. Mary's and all the former grounds that they had um, They have this graphic in there I have to check this out, but uh, it's really, really nice. And I think the third jersey is full with these. So yeah, I, I think it is the old Dell is one of the graphics and the other one is St. Mary's. I think that would make sense in many ways. So yeah, uh, I have to say an absolutely gorgeous shirt. Absolutely gorgeous shirt. was among my top 10 shirts from the past, uh, from, uh, released in 21. Uh, and I'm very happy to have it and now my Premier League collection looks actually pretty, pretty good. Yes, I'm gonna lose uh, Norwich and hopefully that's it. <laughs> but you know, uh, you never can have, uh, it's always good to have options. And I really like the color scheme a whole lot as well. So yeah, please let me know what you think about this jersey. Please uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon, bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day.